So today, on a new segment of my channel, called Jerry Kill Everything, we are testing the brand new calculators from the dollar store. Well, actually, the series of my channel is called Smash Testing Dollar Store Tech. But we're doing a Jerry Kill Everything segment right now. So, let's get started. So anyway, today we're going to be starting with this pink one because it looks uglier and I want to get rid of it first. So this will save for later. So, let's unbox it. So as you can see, it comes with this instruction manual. See how durable that is. Not very durable. Okay. It fails. Alright. Now onto this. We have these, which will tell whether it's a glass screen or a plastic screen, or maybe even a sapphire screen. But we don't have the sapphire yet, and I doubt this is a sapphire screen. So, this is a plastic, and it shouldn't scratch it. As you can see, it's on. Nothing. Except the pixels are kind of getting out. Now for this. And as you can see, there are some permanent scratches. So, in fact, the entire build is made of plastic. Buttons are also are not made of plastic, but they're made of this rubber material. Can they be popped off? Yes, they can easily be popped off. Probably won't happen to everyday use. Just matters if the button still works. So let's do 99%. Nope, doesn't. It works, but buttons can be scratched. So the entire faceplate is also guessed it, plastic. As you can see right there, scratched. Now onto the back. It's also plastic, and you get these cool little curly Q plastic things. What I just drew is a plus or minus symbol. It means that it can either be plus or minus. Pretty simple, right? The sides are made of plastic. So they're a bit hard to scratch. And the top is also made of plastic. There's no headphone jack. What? How is this possible? But everything should have a headphone jack. And up here, you can notice that there's no solar panel to charge it. Because usually there is a solar panel. Looks like you will have to take the back off whenever you need to replace the batteries. Anyway, now for the bend test. We're gonna have it on, and we're going to display the most amount of pixels, so we'll see what breaks first. All right, three, two, one. As you can see, it completely failed. Let's see what went wrong here. Looks like this came off. The entire frame is just plastic, which is not a good thing. It means that there is no for holding it together and there's this rubber thing which has all the buttons on it so what can we conclude don't bend this it won't survive see you all when we get to smashing okay guys so wait one last thing i taped the back on you can actually kind of see the screen lighting up a bit if you get into the right uh, see if you can bend the logic board well there it is we bent the logic board. So yeah, this thing is dead now. So hey guys, yeah. I did get a new watch. Anyway, so um, just one thing before, uh, just one thing before we get on to the actual drop tests and stuff, is that they don't include a solar panel here, because they don't count you using it for that long. Anyway, let's unbox this and get on to the drop test. Do this in one hand. There we go. First, a three foot draw. Three, two, one. This is the corner that it landed on. Doesn't really seem to be too. Oh, wait, no, this is the corner that landed on. That's some bad scuffing right 
some bad scuffing right there. Anyway, now on to face down. Three feet. Two. Again, nothing happened. Now let's move on to six feet. Three, two, one. Again, nothing happened. I think we need to move straight on to the ludicrous drop test. Ludicrous drop test. Three, two, one. As you can see, the screen works fine, even though it has this giant crack in there, but I think I could just snap that back in. Yeah. I'll do another one. Ludicrous drop test number two. Three, two, one. So yeah, still works for me, but the buttons work. But it again split apart, and you could just snap that back in. It's not dead. It's not dying. I don't know one way to kill it. When I bent this video. I bent it from the back, and it broke. What about the front? Three, two, one. Yeah, that didn't take much. So yeah, it, it just separates the frame of the actual calculator. It doesn't actually do anything. Let's see what it takes to bend to kill it again. Because, oh, this is just falling off. Oh, there we go. I That did it. Oh wait, it's still, Showed a number on screen for the, a second. Well, anyway, it's dead now. Let's bend test the display. It should be pretty durable, I mean. Oh, no, it already cracked. Anyway, let's move on to the actual destruction. Calculator, schmalculator. It's still not as good as my TI-34. Well then. Nice. Everything just exploded. Logic board broke again on this. This cleanup process is gonna be fun. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And yeah, as I said, this cleanup process is gonna be fun. Cause these are ingrained into the asphalt. So that, yeah. Have a fun time getting these out. Alright, that'll be all, and comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.